Hello Indie Game fans, it's been a while since I last looked at Kickstarter, so much so that we have all 10 games in this video currently on there, where this bunch looks promising and are games that I would love to see being made. Let's begin with Crino Reanimated, a high-bit pixel art action platformer that is definitely my gem, where you play as the titular character, reanimated from the remains of a fallen champion in order to serve the Black Death King, but somehow was able to retain his heroic soul and is now fighting back against the forces of darkness. The pixel art in this looks so great, having been on my radar for a little bit, and what better time to show it off than when its campaign is live. It is a level-based title that has influences from classic Castlevania, Mega Man X and Ninja Gaiden, where I see a little bit of Shovel Knight in this as well, so if you love a good old action platformer, this is one to support. I've covered Echo Beach on this channel before, probably when looking at upcoming farming or live sim titles, where this does provide something of a different experience to Stardew Valley which makes it of interest. Yes, while there are mining and tree chopping mechanics, curiously, it does appear that the farming portion is missing, but you instead have to use these resources to build automation machines in order to restore the town to its former glory. There does appear to be more of a focus on combat as well, even giving you guns to fend off monsters, with a key highlight being co-op support and should be fun with a friend. A beautiful looking game which is a little bit of a departure from the developer's usual offering is Will Fall a Japanese-style turn-based RPG set in a wonderful fantasy world. It takes place in a kingdom where majestic sky whales roam the air, where at the end of its life, it falls gracefully to the earth which does cause chaos as the various factions fight over its valuable remains. However, as the introductory cinematic shows, the unthinkable has happened with an evil empire constructing a weapon to shoot down a whale, where you play as an unlikely hero who has to survive and fight back. This has Paper Mario style JRPG combat, a strategy or tactical layer that has you maneuvering troops around a hex grid, and even visual novel style storytelling coming to us from developer Whitethorn Games who are known for their cozy titles, so I'm interested to see what they do with this. Speaking of cozy games, Sprout Valley is another title to support, a very pleasant looking farming sim where you play as a cat, starting life anew in a small town. I love the pixel art of this, but if there's one knock, I don't see a particularly interesting hook or unique selling point of this game, since you're equipped with an axe, watering can and hoe, having to plant crops and gather fruit like we've done in so many other games.
However, I do think that it looks very pleasant and chill, so if you're in the mood for a farming game, do look into this. been working on a game based inside a media player. You can press play on the timeline while jumping around, but where it gets interesting is that you can stop, start, jump the timeline around to solve a whole host of puzzles. Of course, since YouTube is a huge part of my life, I do have to give a special mention to Playhead, a cartoony puzzle platformer that frames the game like a YouTube video where you're controlling the Playhead on the video player in order to manipulate the level. I do like their fake YouTube UI, which, in conjunction with the puzzling, should be a decent one of these, and as with all puzzle platformers, I'm curious as to how far they can take the gimmick. A bunch of different characters, give hints and chat in the comments, and this will hopefully add some extra narrative to the game too. I like what Play Rough RPG is going for, since, while on the surface, it resembles something like Earthbound being a JRPG with cute graphics, it does have a darker take since every battle is a fight to the death and is set in the post-apocalyptic wasteland of what was once California. In fact, it does remind me of Lisa the Painful in more ways than one, and since it has been 8 years since the release of that game, I do think that we could use a game like this. Let's kick off the top 3 with Chroma Chronicles, a PvP deck builder title inspired by Slay the Spire and Team Fight Tactics, and comes to us from content creator Boxbox and his team. It has a best of 5 format and will be completely free to play with cosmetic customizables only, looking to be an excellent title. If you have any love for classic point and click adventure games, I would recommend Beyond the Edge of Owl's Guard, one that is inspired by the classics from the 90s and nails everything from the look and UI using the classic Scum Engine system and is already fully funded with an excellent trailer, so enjoy. Our world has always been a peaceful place. Hardly anything could disturb the peace in our ancient forests. But that all changed when these machines appeared. And I'm the only one who can stop them. Hey! What about me? Oh, by the way, my name is Finn. I'm that handsome robot right there. Yow, there is Gwen. That's me. And 
we have an incredible story to tell you. About a journey that took us across the kingdom. Puzzles? Wait a minute. This is one of those point-and-click adventure games. Aren't we, like, 30 years too late for that? Nonsense. Some people are crazy about them. Weird. There he is, our little tramp. Look here and be amazed. What's with that attitude? I am Sven Slauterson. I've been to the mole mines. Now that's enough spoilers. Fans of the channel will of course be familiar with After Image, since I did specially make a video on upcoming Metroidvania games to show it off, and my god, I still cannot believe how gorgeous this game looks. It is a hand-drawn title which is very different from the pixel art that I usually love, but the amount of detail in the background, environments, and enemies simply astounds me, which, combined with great looking action, makes this an obvious pick. Unsurprisingly, this is already fully funded, with stretch goals as of recording to include more accessories, weapons, new game plus and more, but if you love Metroidvanias, definitely check this out, taking the number one spot. For more Metroidvania games, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.